from the Mail Online on Sunday. Shocking, shocking moment. Vandals destroy protected and delicate natural rock formations in Nevada National Park. Now, I must warn you, there are images of rocks in this video. So, authorities are on the hunt for a pair of men who toppled several ancient rocks in a Nevada National Park. Now, let's just think about this for a minute. Aren't, by definition, all rocks ancient? Really? They're all old, unless you live in Hawaii, maybe, or Iceland. Two men were caught on camera in a video that is now going viral. Red stones at Lake Mead National Park are some of the most popular destinations in the massive recreation center. Ever been to Lake Mead National Park? Ever been to Nevada? Because it's full of red rock. I mean, literally, it is red rock. They have a canyon called Red Rock Canyon just outside um, Nevada. Uh, Las Vegas. The whole state's red. I'm not going into politics. <laughs> so what happened here is these guys are obviously being guys and thought I'm going to topple some rocks down and they did. They toppled some rocks down and they they smashed. They just broke up because I think I think looking at it this is sandstone and it says it's protected. So Joe John Haynes, a public information officer for the park. It's one of my favourite places in the park and they're up there just destroying it. I don't understand that. Well, I kind of understand that. It. It's guys being guys. That's what they do. They're just they're just like, oh, there's a rock. Let's see if it fall over. Let's see if it'll roll down the hill. Yeah, I'm not saying it's bright or intelligent behaviour, but it's a rock, you know. <laughs> I don't quite get this. I understand that you want to keep places in good order but this is a pile of rocks and you can't protect it because it's going to get weathered it's going to get worn away by water and and it does rain in nevada trust me i've been there it's going to get worn away by water and wind it's going to weather it's a one in, it's one and a half billion acres two lakes a chunk of the colorado river it gets pretty difficult based on our staff levels to be everywhere at once said Haynes. well yeah okay but if you were everywhere at once we really would be living in a complete totalitarian nanny state wouldn't we because you wouldn't be allowed to walk on the grass so the national park service operates a tip line that receives thousands of submissions each year do you get any tips on all the people that go missing every year in national parks just wondered about that so these men may face fines and jail time due to their destructive behavior now look, look at the rocks it's it's sandstone it just crumbles yeah okay the 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 accelerated natural weathering and the ultimate destruction of this pile of rocks because once a mountain's up there its ultimate aim is to be flat again isn't it and that's what's going to happen in geological times so any idea that we can stop these processes is nuts. Why not just enjoy them while they're there? Yeah, okay. I'm not saying these guys should go up and and break rocks. <laughs> Maybe they want to be in a chain gang. <laughs> they might get their wish. <laughs> they might get their wish. So apparently, years ago, two boy scout leaders, boy scout leaders, role models, who toppled ancient rock in Utah were charged with felonies and forced to pay restitution after their harmful shenanigans were caught on camera. Okay, what's your view? What do you think? I mean, is it horseplay? Is it just guys being guys? You know, we all like to see a, we all like to pick up a rock and throw it in a river, don't we? Yeah. Is that is that vandalism? If you do that, is that vandalism? Is the world gone nuts? Why? Why is this like big news? when the world literally has gone nuts let me know your views tell me what you think i mean should these guys get jail time jail time for toppling a few rocks does seem a bit excessive does seem a bit overboard doesn't it maybe that's just me bye